I wanted to call this series bullshit that developers have to deal with, but I think YouTube doesn't really like the word bullshit in the title, so I will call it things developers hate. And in this episode, I will be talking about deadlines. What are they? Why deadlines are done the way they are and how to deal with different kinds of deadlines. Let's do it. I think everyone has dealt with some kind of a deadline in their life. You can have deadlines at work, you can have deadlines at school, you can have deadlines in your life, for example, when you need to file taxes. There are different kinds of deadlines and different ways in which we can categorize them. We have deadlines that have different sources. So we have external deadlines and internal deadlines. External deadlines come from outside of the company. For example, if there is a Christmas season coming and we need to prepare a special kind of a Christmas promotion. This is an external deadline. If we deliver this kind of a promotion after Christmas, then that doesn't make sense, right? We lost an entire year. We cannot move this deadline. Internal deadline is something that comes from within the company. For example, we promised to deliver something to one of the teams that relies on tools that we built. We have soft deadlines and hard deadlines. Soft deadlines are movable ones. Soft deadlines, if they are not met, the company or we as a team do not face any severe consequences, while hard deadlines can't be moved. If we do not meet the hard deadline, then something severe will happen. For example, if a company signed a contract and we promised in this contract to deliver software by 1st of September, otherwise we lose the contract and pay some fine, then this is a hard deadline. We have imposed deadlines and agreed deadlines. Imposed deadline means that someone comes to us and says, this is a deadline, you have to deliver software by then. While agreed deadline is a deadline where stakeholders and the team discuss together when, what kind of promise we can make when we can deliver the software. And on top of these categories, we have something that I call a real deadline versus a fake or bullshit deadline. A real deadline is something that usually is an external deadline that has some hard deadline with some consequences if it's not met and preferably in good environments it's something that is agreed on. So the team of developers that will be delivering the software has a say before the deadline is promised. While a bullshit deadline or fake deadline is something that is usually imposed, it is something that's usually purely internal and there are no consequences for the company if it's not met. For example, VP of product comes and says, I promised this feature to a CEO and we need to deliver it by end of September. Why? There is no justification. Just because someone made some promise, just because maybe they felt pressure, just because they want to get promoted, they want to be noticed or whatever. This is imposed and there will be no consequences for the company if this deadline is not met, but someone in the team might need to face internal consequences like being fired or demoted. Let's talk for a moment about delivering software. You surely have seen this kind of a triangle that is a cost, a quality and a pace. Uh, so people say that if you want something to be done, it can be done cheaply, it can be done quickly and it can be done well. But you can choose only two out of these three. So you cannot achieve all three. And I think when it comes to delivering software, we can think similarly, but about different things. So there is a scope, which means uh, what we are exactly delivering. There is a time, which means when we deliver it. And there is quality, which means how good is what we are delivering. If you want to have a healthy relationship within your company, if you want the product management and the developers and all the stakeholders, work well together, there needs to be a flexibility in at least one of these three elements. If all three elements are flexible, that's great because then we can decide how much quality we sacrifice, uh, how much we move the deadline and how much we limit the scope. But at least one of them needs to be flexible. So now how are we dealing with deadlines? First, let's talk about the real deadlines before we get to the bullshit ones. So in dealing with real deadline, you cannot move the launch date. So of these three elements, one of them is fixed. Now you can sacrifice either the quality 
or you can sacrifice the scope, you can limit the scope. You normally don't want to sacrifice the quality because once you lower the bar of your quality, then the bar stays there. It's very hard to put this bar higher again. So what you want to work on is to limit the scope. Now, in order to manage the delivery on time, you need to be in contact with stakeholders. If you are a developer in the team, then you need to tell your product manager, your engineering manager, your team leader that something is going wrong, that we are behind the schedule. If you're engineering manager, product manager, then you need to be in touch with other stakeholders who are deciding about what can we sacrifice so that the closer we are to the deadline, the more certain we are that everything that is within the agreed scope will be delivered. You don't want to end up in a situation where a week before the launch, you realize that 50% of the features cannot be delivered because that ruins the trust between the team, between the manager, between everyone involved in the project. You want to avoid that. So you need to keep everyone updated and adjust the scope dynamically depending on what's happening. Communication between different parts of the company, communication between different people is the key to a successful collaboration. It's extremely important especially if you work together long term on some bigger things. When it comes to bullshit deadline situation is tricky because bullshit deadline doesn't have really strong underlying reasons. It's usually made up by someone who just wants to prove, the, prove themselves, who wants to get promoted, who wants to get a higher bonus and they use their power to impose certain deadlines on the team. So order to prevent it you can't always prevent it sometimes it just won't work but in order to prevent it there are a few things that you can do first do not allow the estimates to be turned into deadlines this is something that i've seen happening very often in my career where the team says oh okay we should be able to deliver it within a month and then someone later in the chain stands okay i promise to our clients that it will be done in a month. No, that should be avoided at all costs. Second, make sure that everyone involved understands the reason behind the deadline. Because if someone tries to impose a bullshit deadline on the team, then they need to explain it. And if the explanation is just because I want it or because I promised it to someone, then do whatever you can to prevent it from happening. And if that person definitely want something by a certain date and you can't do anything about it, then do not make promises or under promise the scope of what can be delivered. The worst situation happens when neither of the three elements in the triangle are flexible. When we need to deliver software by a certain time, because for example, we made a press release, when we cannot sacrifice the quality because people will stop using our software and will have a lot of negative PR. And when we need to deliver everything that we promised, because we already made these promises, this situation when nothing is flexible leads to crunch time. Crunch time is a situation where employees, where programmers are asked to work longer hours, are asked to work on the weekends in order to meet all these conditions that are usually imposed by other people. I know that this is relatively common, especially in certain industries. From my perspective as an engineering manager, this is kind of a failure. It's a failure of communication between the team leadership and between the other stakeholders. It is a failure because we led to a situation where we cannot deliver what we promised, when we promised, in the quality that we promised, within the resources and the time that we normally have. This often leads to lower morale, this often leads to burnouts, this leads to people looking for other places to work. It doesn't have to be like that. It might happen that crunch time is considered fine and everyone in the team is highly motivated to deliver everything, but it's a risk. It's always a risk. And as a developer, as a manager, as a stakeholder, you want to avoid this risk. The title of this series is things developers hate. And I don't think that developers hate deadlines themselves. Deadlines are very useful. They give a predictability to the whole company. They give us a point of time that we are looking forward to, that we know that the project will be launched so that we need to start thinking about other things. However, deadlines 
can be used to pressure employees, to pressure the team of developers to work harder and to work longer, which might benefit the company in short time, but usually is very bad in the long term. If you enjoy this video, make sure to click the like button, to click the subscribe button, to leave a comment. If you have some story to share about the bullshit deadlines, about how deadlines are used in the wrong way, let me know, leave the comment under the video. See you in the next episode, stay tuned.